In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how the slant post concept can cross apply to pretty much any formation that you want and why it is really the cornerstone passing concept in Madden 23. It's super important that you get a grasp on this concept because this has been one of the best passing concepts for years in Madden. And if you want to learn what I call the five foundational passing concepts or the five uh, passing play system that has been developed over the last 10 years, you can get that ebook completely for free. It teaches you five foundational passing concepts that are it, that are going to be great and foundational in Madden every single year. We looked back at literally every Madden since I think Madden 11, and we can show that these uh, these concepts have stood the test of time. So if you want to check that out, again, that ebook is available to you completely for free, and the link is in the description of the video. All right, guys, so why is slant post concept so good, and how do you run it out of multiple formations? This concept really was, I think, very popular and powerful, primarily out of the trips tied in um, formation. And basically the, the setup for it would be something like this. We would flat our middle trips receiver, we would slant the inside trips receiver, and we would post the tight end. And what this does, if you just look at this, is it creates um, a couple of things for your offense. First and foremost, it gives you the ability to beat man coverage. That is really, really important. But one of the other things that I think is super underrated um, about this is because of the way the routes run, you can attack this middle of the field really from the numbers to the numbers all, all across this play. As you see here, I could throw this all across the middle of the field before it gets to the sideline. Then the other thing about this is that when it gets to the sideline, you see that it's going to attack the defense at about a 20 yard depth over there on the left. And then on the right side, it's going to attack the defense at about a 15 yard depth. So it's hard to double Mabel this because the routes go at different depths. Now they also go at different depths. For example, let's say we run in the slant post concept like this. And let's say that the post is now going to run to the wide side of the field. So you're going to see here that now that post route is going to go about 30 yards down the field as opposed to where before it was running about 20, uh, 20 yards down the field. So that is the biggest uh, key to this. Now, the second thing about this is it puts the user in a position where they're going to basically have to choose. Am I going to go guard the post or am I going to go guard the slant? They have to choose one um, of the routes. And so what people will often do is they often are going to take the tight end uh, post route because it's the biggest play. So if they go with the post, then we can throw that slant in that little pocket right there. Now, this cross applies to any formation because of your ability to hot route. So if you're, let's say, for example, you don't have access to Hot Route Master, you can still run the basic concept that is the slant post concept. For example, if I'm in the gun bunch formation, one of the most popular formations in Madden, I'm just going to be looking for a play that has um, that post route. So for example, I'm actually in the Pats playbook, so they don't have that um, in this specific playbook. But what we can do is we can go to a play like bunch trail and we can motion over this corner route and turn it into a post route. So as you can see here, now we have a post, we have a slant, and then we have um, kind of our clear out routes for zone coverage. And so again here, you're going to see slant there and then post right in there. And that is the beauty of having a concept because a concept can transfer formation. It can also transfer year to year in Madden, it's something that you can master this year and take it with you into next year's game. Another great example of this would be the U-Trips formation. They're filled with these nice little post routes right here. So what we can do is a route combination that basically looks like this, and it doesn't really require Hot Route Master. So all I have to do is slant one of these two guys over here on the right side. I'm gonna give them a little motion so that they get off the jam, and then we can snap the ball. And as you can see, that slant route is going to consistently be able to attack both man coverage and zone coverage. How does this attack zone coverage? Let me jump into like a cover three style uh, of defense here. And what you're gonna notice again is just how these yellow zones will drift either underneath to stop the slant and you can highball the post over the top, or they're gonna go up and carry with the post and we can throw the slant underneath. This In the air raid offense, this is actually known as the shallow cross concept. And it's a little bit different. I'm gonna explain that here real quick. Uh, we'll jump into another formation and show it to you. We're gonna use tight slots. The beauty of having slot apprentice or hot route masters, you can create this 
concept from literally anything because all you need is the slot apprentice post. So we're going to put our right side receiver on a post. We're going to streak our left side receiver. We're going to slant this uh, middle or uh, slot receiver. And then we are going to flat route or out route this tight end. And so as you can see, this has created the slant post concept. And so again, we can attack the flats. That's going to pull out the zones. And then the slant is going to be there um, as a great man beater. Now, how is this ran in the air raid? In the air raid, it's a little bit different. Um, in the air raid, typically what you're going to get is you're going to get some type of 10 yard in route, and then you're going to get an underneath drag route. And again, this is still the slant post concept. It's just now, instead of attacking the curl flat area of the field, now we're attacking the hard flat area of the field with that drag route. What I would encourage you with this is, is actually, I would go ahead and experiment a little bit with this variation. So for example, let's go back to trips tied in here and let's say that they're dropping their zone drops to try to take this away. This is something that's becoming very popular. They're gonna put their flats at 20 and their curl flats, let's say they put them at 10 because they're trying to stop your slant post concept. And that's probably the best way uh, to do it is to put you know a purple, for example, on the right side of the field that's gonna stop the slant. Um, and then they're gonna put something over here to stop, you know, maybe they man up here, maybe they have this guy manned up here. Now again, they're in no man's land, but they're gonna basically carry um, the, the post to that flat zone. So we've got the tight end post and we've got the slant route. And what you'll notice here is if I try to throw this slant route against a 10 yard purple, it plays it pretty well. Now again, I've got a, I have windows that I can throw this in, but it plays it pretty well. But where I think this, this concept can really just take your, take your game to the next level is when you can understand that you can actually run the same concept, but you can do it in a, in a way that is more effective based off of situation. So like I said, let's go back to the foundation and the foundation of this concept is having a smart routed in route, which you can create pretty much as long as you are first and 10, um, or there's a play in the Patriots playbook called Pat's YN. Now we can take green here. We're going to put him on the, on the uh, drag route. And then, and then we're going to take uh, on this left side and put the flat there. Okay. So now what you're going to see is that 10 yard flat is going to drift back, drift back, drift back. And I can now attack the hard flat with that 10 yard uh, with that little route right there. So even though, again, these are just minor ways that you can, I think, just take this concept and really turn into something. The same thing over here, right? This 20 yard cloud. Yeah, it kind of played it there, but, and then I can also do some other things. Like, let's say, for example, they're doing this a lot. Um, this is where we can start to put like flip flop it. So for example, now we're going to run green on the post and we're going to run uh, Jones on either the motion slant or the motion in route like this and kind of keep it the same basic concept as you can see right here. This is a foundational passing concept to Madden. If you wanna learn the rest of what I believe to be the five key passing concepts in Madden every single year, make sure to join that uh, or uh, grab that free ebook. The link is down in the description of this video.